And tonight, legendary Lois Lane with the screw tape on the chain. First of all, sending condolences and prayers up for the family of Robert Ricks. Yes. Because what I'm going to talk tonight is some deep shit. Very deep shit. And the family of Robert Ricks need to hear this. Coming from a person who been in and out of jail for most of their life. From juvenile to adult. You talking about somebody who was sentenced to 25 years for a crime they didn't commit. I done seen plenty of people die in jail. From the parish, DC1. DC3, at the hands of officials and deputies and captains and majors and wardens. So you might want to really pay attention to what I'm finna say. Rest in peace, Robert Ricks. That's my homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right here in Hell, Alexandria, LA. This is another video from the legendary Lois Lane with the screw tape on the chain. Rest in peace, DJ Screw. I'm sitting in my library right now because I've been up reading. And I was scrolling Facebook and I sat there and watched that whole video that was posted by Destiny. You know, my prayers go up for Destiny because I know she wants justice for her people. But I'm going to tell you some raw shit, Destiny. Nat Turner. Lawrence Ricks. I'm going to give it to you raw tonight. I'm going to give it to you in a way that I don't think nobody else in this city going to tell it to you like this. Watch your surroundings at all times. Be aware of where you at. Keep you some protection because I'm going to tell you something about this city and the way it moves. It's a very dark, secretive city. And they don't like when they business get out to the world. You know what I'm saying? We finna get into that. This city got a long history of secret murders, secret molestation. Secret pedophilia. All kind of shit been going on. They have hundreds and hundreds of Robert Ricks cases downtown just like Robert Ricks. So when you look at all this stuff that's going on right now in the city with all these killings and the laws being distracted to this place and that place. Behind this shooting and that shooting. All that's by design. Everything that's going on right now in Alexandria is going on by design. Even the sacrificing of Robert Ricks. I've been doing this long enough to know that anything or any move that they make is a cover up for something else. Something bigger that they don't want to get out. Us, we just scapegoats and pawns for the for the for the bigger game. According to the video, you see it for yourself. They got the law written to their benefit. Excited delirium and all this different stuff that they come up with. All these terminologies that they edit and modify and amend. They got all this written out to protect them. And from what I see going on in the video related to Robert Riggs' death is the family is hoping that the devil go against himself. I know that sound fucked up. I know that sound raw. But I just got to give it to you like that. Because them federal people already knew that they had fucked up. So if they said that they did no wrong. And that they only was doing their job. Then that means that they were siding with them. And saying that. 
you did a good job. Going to jail and dying in jail is no different than joining the rap game and signing up to rap about killing people for millions of dollars. You feel me? That's what they believe in. That's what keeps them with a job. That's what keeps them looking good. Death. Excited delirium. Uh, toxic false toxicology reports and you know all this different paperwork and so all this played right into keeping a system going and this way it get dangerous at the remaining survivors are Robert Rick's family which are targets now secretly they'll never come out in public and tell you that you're a target so now you have to pay extra attention to your surroundings. You got to pay extra attention to everything that's associated with the family, the people that is concerned that still is left to fight for justice. Because I'm going to tell you, in the South, the whole down South, Louisiana, Mississippi, out, this is how they play it. When they feel like you're getting close to the truth, they secretly attack. And this written into the KKK Constitution, the Confederate Constitution. All these hate groups, origins, had a constitution. And their constitution is based like this. If them niggas get close to bringing the house down, then we got to bomb first. I'm going to repeat that. If you get close to the truth, we bomb first. Meaning, they know you're close to the truth. They know they wrong. They know you right, but they don't want you to be right. And so, this was really going on. If you keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it, they planning unexpected retaliation. I'm going to tell you this because nobody else is going to say this. These people plan unexpected retaliations against trying to expose the demons and the devils. So that's why I tell you, have you some protection. Watch your surroundings at all times. Don't, don't tell everybody this because everybody is not concerned. Some people is even working with the demons and the devils to prevent you from getting justice because watch this here this how tricky this how tricky our parish is when it comes to officials local officials killing inmates or niggas period they'll put it on the news but the news indirectly all they doing is really making them aware of what your every move you making so because they tied into them too. If you study downtown Ale Alexandria, every building, everything down there is all tied into each other. Everything that they didn't want, all the undesirable businesses and shit they didn't want downtown, it is gone. Come here and see it for yourself. Everything that they did not want downtown to still be existing around them, their crookedness and what they have going on is gone. They either burnt it to the ground, threw a cross some kind of way and got it gone. It's not there. So that's a sign. They have their ways of sending their signals and secret signs to you. Open your eyes and pay attention to what's going on because this video here is the raw information that you need in order to survive to get justice see you got to survive to get justice because what's going on now is the media they gonna push it the media the media is gonna push anything where a family is right so now you're really being monitored. You look, you're looking at it as if the news is helping you, but, but the whole time 
They're just a monitor. A monitor is something that you used. It seemed like they promoting for justice, but all the while they just keeping them up on what's really on, on what to know how to do next. They keeping them up on how to be ahead. You see what I'm saying? They so crooked. They'll go back and watch that news video more times than you. They, they attorneys and they lawyers watching this same news that they done edited up, right? So based off the news putting this up, they attorneys getting more ready and modifying and changing shit up and getting ready. So when it do reopen up, they already ahead of you. Because believe one thing, them attorneys that they got for the Taser Company, them, them attorneys that they got, these million dollar attorneys. And we all know how crooked politics operate. You feel me? But in spite of all this, justice still going to be served in the end. But you want to survive for justice, you know, because sometimes when we lose a loved one, we'll get so emotional and so caught up in wanting justice that we fail to not look at the reality of what's really going on. And when you in the art of war and when you go on the war with the enemy, that's how a lot of us slip. We get so emotionally tied into what's going on. We overlook the raw truth about the real shit that's going on around us. So these people got silent mercenaries that kill for them. These people got people that kill millions of ways. You know what I'm saying? These, these people got people that kill and make it look like a mistake. These people got people that can get in your house while you ain't at home and you will never know they've been in your house. These, this is the shit that you, once you get the spotlight down here in this city, this is the shit you got to keep in your mind. This is the reality of what's really going on. But in this city, they don't train people to think this way. You know, so that when you say this to the average person, they think you crazy. Man, you crazy. Man, you imagining some crazy shit. Man, that, that ain't what's really, that is what's really going on. That's why they've been killing people for so long and getting away with it. That's why a lot of stuff been swept under the world rug. That's why a lot of people that could have got justice not here no more. You see what I'm saying? Because they have, to your, to your way of being honest, Versus their way of doing it, of, 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 of covering this secret up 10,000 ways. These people got 10,000 ways and they've been doing this before any of us was born. Right? So they got 10,000 ways that they can go about sweeping shit under the rug, covering secrets up. They got friends in high places. They know how to rewrite the law, how to modify the law, what to say. They know what documents to go pull up to cover their wrongs. We see that. That's evident. You feel me? So I'm going to say this again. Watch your surroundings. Keep you some protection. You know what I'm saying? And try not to go. When you go out, try not to go into isolated places alone. Because now you in the spotlight. You being watched. They just as nervous as you is. They know you right. They know they wrong for what they did. Now, all eyes on you to see is you going to win the war. There's a war going on. That's like me getting sentenced to 20 years for a crime I ain't commit. And I come home, now they watching me to see what I'm going to do. Is he going to file a lawsuit? Is he going to prove that he was innocent and get paid? Or he going to just let it go? Or, or is they going to kill him off or somebody he close to or that he care about to weaken him because they play all kind of games like that. You see what I'm saying? This is the games they play to weaken you emotionally and mentally so you won't fight for justice and win this war. Because we got to call it what it is. It's a war. When, when you kill one of my loved ones wrongfully, especially up there, what they did that at, that's war. Whether we do it religiously, whether we do it godly, however, it's, it's a war. It's a war for justice. You see what I'm saying? 
Now, another reason I tell you watch these people in Alexandria who you, who all you putting in this because everybody is not in this for justice. Everybody, everybody, everybody's not in this for justice. A lot of these people that's liking and commenting and watching all this on Facebook, they work for the devil. So all a lot of people doing is running back, doing this to the devil. Well, they say this. Well, they just did this. See, they helping the devil. And see, that's why Rapids Parish been in power for so long. Because they got so many people that run back and snitch on Jesus. See, they going to go let them know what you doing, what you said, how you said it, what you planning on doing next. You see what I'm saying? So you got to be careful about what you advertise and what you put out and what you, because the enemy, they already know they done fucked up. So now they looking at it like you trying to drag the public in it, which the public deserve every right to, you know, ride for justice and all that there. But a lot of these people ain't who they say they is in Rapids Parish. A lot of these people is not who they say they is. You see what I'm saying? So they can't they can't afford to play both sides and get exposed. You feel me? Then a lot of people, the reason they not gonna ride for justice is because they don't want to lose the little bit that the white folks done gave them. The little bit that the white folks done gave them, the white folks will take that shit right back from them if they ride. For the cause and unify. And that's been one of the main factors going on here in Rapids Parish before I was born. Nobody want to ride. Nobody want to stand up and unify because they already know the white folks saying it. I give it. I take it back. See, and when the white folks take that shit back, they don't care how you feel. Because at the end of the day, they still going to go to their side of the highway them white folks know one thing. If I take back everything I gave to you, them, do, them niggas over there around you, they ain't going to support you. You feel me? And most people over here, they know that. They know they not going to get no support from, the, from their own people if they lose everything that the white folks then made a way for them to get. So that's one of the main reasons why you're not garnering the support from Facebook and other social platforms from the public. You see what I'm saying? So this war for justice has to be fought silent because if it's fought in the, in the public eye through the news and all that, there, the news ain't doing nothing but helping them stay ahead because they watching this too. They going back, believe one thing, they sit in their house watching this over and over and over and over and over. They making phone calls. They calling such and such and such. They calling judge such and such and such. They getting ready. See, they unified through the union of justice. See, you gotta, when you go downtown, you gotta pay attention to these signs on these buildings and read the, read the black, pay attention to the symbology. They unified in crookedness. Yeah, they crooked, but they unified in crookedness. We say we of God. We say we Christians. We say we want justice, but we not unified in seeking justice. You feel me? It's not 10,000 people in Rapids Parish that you could go to right now and ride for that cause. And it's a silent unity. You feel me? Out of them 10,000, 7,000 is already working for the devil. See what I'm saying? So the war for justice has to be fought silent, vigilantly, and carefully. Because if not, if you fight out of emotion, the devil is watching at all times. So don't fight out of emotion. You feel me? You know, you, you, you got every right to post what you want to post. You got every right to say what you want to say on Facebook. Post all day. Say what you want to say. But the devils and demons, they watching everything you post. Every video you make, every video you post, they watching. Just like the streets watching, they watching. And the reason, see, they not watching for the reason the streets watching. The streets watching just to have something to be entertained by. You know, and say, oh, that's fucked up, but I got to keep living. 
they watching to stay ahead. When they watch it, they they rewind in certain parts of it. Okay, I know. So if this case open back up, this what we gotta shoot down in court. This what we gotta say they wrong at. They already on the phone with a million dollar attorneys making sure that when if you do open this back up, this this what we gotta. You know what I'm saying? They attorneys already ready telling them, look, this what they gonna try to go for if they open this back up. This is stuff they gonna try to go for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I want justice. I want to see it. You know what I'm saying? I don't work for the devil. That's why I'm shooting this video. I don't work for the, the devil. Don't control me. The devil don't tell me who I can and can't talk to. I am a firm supporter of Robert Riggs because I was in DOC. I've been to DC one. I've been to DC three. I seen what they do. I look, I done had my partners get their teeth kicked out their mouth. In jail, I'd have had my partners get their heads slammed against them little rails in the cell and die on impact. I didn't see all that from the deputies. I, Robert Ricks ain't the first person they did all that to. I know dudes they did that to ain't have no family out here. No justice was served. Still ain't no justice served. You feel me? I was just lucky, thanks be to God, to make it up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. On that behalf, thanks be to God. After 10 years and coming out. Man, I've been all over Louisiana. I've been in the private-owned prisons. I've been in the state prisons. I've been there. I was bucking when I was incarcerated. I had to buck. See, during the era when I was incarcerated, if you didn't want to stay at one jail for one, three or five years, you're going to buck. You know what I'm saying? You're going to do your paperwork. You know, you're going to have your shit in order. Then you're going to make them ship you somewhere else. Nah. It ain't even like that no more. They just doing whatever they want to do to a nigga now. See what I'm saying? So, the same thing that they practicing up on the inmates, they didn't bring this same game to the streets, to the citizens now. So, Alexandra is a DC-1 too. They didn't turn Alexandra into a DC-1. And Robert Ricks, man, his soul, he know every word I'm saying. Ain't no lie. You know what I'm saying? His soul want me to tell you this here, man. Look, watch your surroundings. Keep an open eye. Watch who you trust concerning this case. Look, I understand them people down there. They seem like they concerned and all that. Stuff. That's the enemy. That's the enemy. Look, at night when they go home, guess who they, they don't call you. Guess who they on the phone with? That's their friends. So what happened? What did you find? See, it's, it's betrayal. What, what did you find? Well, we found this and this and that. But in the public, they got to play like they, you know, everybody got to seem right when the camera's on them. Everybody got to seem like they concerned and they want justice. Man, look, justice for one is justice for all. You hear me? You know, so... Because this is how they looking at it. If, if, we, if we let the world see them winning, everybody going to want justice. That's like me being in the Paris jail and I'm sending five dudes home a week. Everybody going to want to go home. They seeing, they seeing little old me saying, I'm doing paperwork and law work. I'm helping dudes learn the law. If they see them going home, they going to want to go home too. So that's how these people think. On the other side, the enemy, the devil, they, they looking at it. So, yes, a federal judge is going to side with them because if we let, if, 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 if we award this suit, this civil suit in federal court, and we pay this family 300 million or however many million, everybody else going to be like, damn, we need to go look into our little one that got or whatever happened to, you feel me? So when they deny, when they denying your shit, that's the, that's the mindset they denying your shit out of. They 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 know they know these people wrong, but when they deny, they deny so everybody else won't follow suit. See, if everybody could go to court and be right, that's gonna make everybody else gonna want to go to court. Hey, he went home. I'm gonna try it too. And then if everybody get justice. 
they'll be out of a job and a business. You see? And that's how this works. Yeah. Not saying that the family don't already know this or they don't have insight into, into the way these people think. I'm just making it known. You know what I'm talking about? Rest in peace, Robert Riggs, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to see justice, but I got to give it to you from a raw standpoint. This justice, this war for justice got to be fought in silence. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of wars that get fought in silence without public support, and they get won. Because in a case like this here, this case can open up the door for so much more injustice that is going on. You got to understand, when, when, when you get on that black and white and it say state of Louisiana or whatever versus such and such, you're creating history. You're creating a gateway for other people to use that particular case and fight as well and get justice too. And when they deny shit, that's the way they looking at it. They're shedding a gateway portal closed so you won't enter. They want you to fight. That's the way they got it designed. They want you to fight and claw and claw until you find that loophole that'll get you through that portal so you can create and leave that portal open for somebody else to go through. See, that's our job, to fight and not give up. But watch who you trust and watch who you bring into this fight because a lot of these demons and devils out here playing both sides. Yeah, they getting in front of the camera and all that. They are can support it, but off camera, they on the phone with these same people. Calling and making calls and plotting and who they going to murder and who they got to knock off to suppress. Yeah. See, the word suppress, that's a real word. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the level of dirtiness that some people will go to to suppress the truth from getting out. If they've been doing it for all these years, you think they still ain't going to do it? Look. I'm going to say this here, then I'm going to wind this video down because I'm going to make all my videos in, within the 30 minute to 45 minute range. If they was giving black justice in Rapids Parish on a fair level, them people wouldn't, hey, wouldn't, we are on downtown. Downtown will be run by blacks. If they was issuing justice to us for all the shit they done did to us, and we was actually winning lawsuits and really like really challenging all this shit they done. We are on downtown. Would none of this land be for them? They know that already. This the shit when they up at night and they house and they library, this the shit they already know. Know why? They read. We don't. They study this shit. They attorneys and they people in high places, they let them know this on a regular basis. You can only get them people so much because if if you get them the type of justice they're looking for, it will be no more us. You will open a gateway for everybody else to go through, which, which will eventually bring a light so bright that the darkness won't even exist no more. And they are the darkness. Just like y'all, y'all going to watch this video, they going to watch this video too. And if they knock my ass off, so be it. Because I don't work for the devil. You feel me? But I know how the devil think. Because I done lived around devils. I ran in the street with devils. I know how devils think. I played, I live both sides of this shit. So I know what the devils and demons do. Because I hung with devils and demons. So I know how devils and demons think. I ain't been righteous. I ain't been out here being righteous. You feel me? I got righteous intentions. I want to see justice. But, you know, yeah, I've been around these devils and demons too. I know how they think. I know how they operate. I know what they do. They kill. They murder. They sacrifice. And they still doing it. Every night. Every day. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind while you fighting the war for justice. Watch who you trust. Watch who you Reveal all this too because they playing both sides out here. They on they they on they on see everybody play righteous on social media. Everybody is of Jesus. Everybody is a Christian. Everybody is just so perfect and you know. But they don't tell you the side when they up late at night on the phone with Mark Wood and 
all these other people that's involved in that and who they friend, they don't tell you that side of it. You see what I'm saying? You fighting for justice, but they secretly plotting on how to suppress this. You feel me? So just keep that in mind, man. Rest in peace, Robert Ricks. You know, shout out to the Robert Ricks family, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all got something out of this video right here. I hope this video sheds some light on the corruption and the things that, that's really going on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's, it's deeper than what they putting on social media. This shit is way deeper than what they putting on social media. It's way deeper than that. It been way deeper than that. So you got to be aware of all sides. That's why I got all sides media supporting YouTube. Look, it's all sides. Look at this. Look at this from every angle. You know what I'm saying? Step outside. Just step outside of your emotions for a minute and look at this from every angle. The justice y'all fighting for, that's going to open the door for every other black in Rapids Parish. That's the justice they not trying to see. Trust and believe. You know what I'm saying? May God be with us all. God know that everything I just said from the bottom of my heart is the raw, honest truth. But everybody ain't going to look at it like that. Some people going to look at this video like, I'm down bad. Some people going to look at this video like, he telling some raw shit. And others, they going to just free to feel how they want. But fuck them. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Robert Riggs, man. Shout out to the, you know, Riggs family, man. And may justice prevail. You know what I'm saying? But be careful in how you pursue justice. You know what I'm saying? Be very careful. Be very vigilant. Be very watchful. Because uh, Rapids Parish ain't right, man. Shit ain't right out here. Tell you. Hell, Alexandra ain't right.